Lainey Wilson. We were in Dallas at the ACMs together, and we were at dress rehearsal. And for you guys, you had to actually be dressed because they were checking lights. And yeah. <laughs> your your outfit was awesome. That's that super cool. You look good. But there was an issue with the hat. <laughs> and and, and you had the but you had the hat on for the second one, the second performance too, didn't you? No. So the plan was to go out with my hat on. Yeah. With jelly, and then I had this little routine kind of worked out where I was going to kind of chunk the hat at the camera. Um, but we had to take some of the stuff out of the hat because it was way too tight on my head and it was leaving that mark across my face. That's forehead. what it was. Oh. Okay. She was like, we got to work on the hat because there was everybody going a million miles an hour. Because you like throw the hat at the camera. Yes. And I was like, I'm going to ask Lainey what happened with the hat. No, no, no. So it was yeah. too, t- so there was like a line on your head. Yeah. I was like, it would look like it was just like squeezing my head so tight. And it was because I had put a lot of fake hair in my hair that <laughs> night. <laughs> so yeah, my head was too big. That was a big night for you. Not just the award wins, but also the performances. I mean, it was a big night pre knowing what you for sure had to do, which was you did the performance with Jelly Roll. Yep. And then that flipped over into your performance of Grease. Yep. And those performances were so different because one is like emotional and touching and then Grease was like, boom, in your yep. face. Super nervous before that award show because of all the responsibility? I was so stressed out. I'm not even going to act like I was not. Which I'll just tell you, uh, award shows are, are scary for me. I because? Feel, I feel like they might be getting a little less scary. Um, there's times where I'm like, all right, here goes nothing. I mean, millions of people are going to be watching you and a lot of them are just waiting for you to mess up. And that's the truth. I mean, I feel that way too. But then when I hear you say it, I'm like, well, that's not true. So then I tell myself, well, that's not true when you say okay. it to me. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it's yeah. true. Um. <laughs> She's convincing me now to be neurotic again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was, I mean, I thought both of your performances back to back were so good. I was talking to Luke Combs backstage because I was doing my stuff backstage because he had to go from doing his performance to come out with Ed Sheeran. Yeah. And you did yours from coming on with Jelly Roll yeah. to you. So, but yours never stopped. So you're into one, and is anybody able to talk in your ears, or is it you just hearing music? No, I'm just hearing music. So we had a, a couple days before um, the show, I got to go in there and kind of run through the steps because I mean the timing had to be, I had to work it out perfect. I had to make sure that I was walking quick enough. I needed to get to my spot, get to my mic. Um, did you see I had a, a malfunction on stage? No, I didn't. What my, happened? My clip, it fell off the back of my, my bell oh. Yeah, for my for the grease performance. Is that where you were holding it? I was holding it. Oh, I, I said, thought that you were just like supposed to be holding it. Oh, well, not... I'm glad you thought yeah. that because I was literally thinking, dang, I can't even I couldn't even grab the microphone stand like I was planning on. And I have a couple little cool little microphone stand tricks I was gonna Bring do. her a stand, let's do it now. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> do, do these it. Tricks. Let's do it. Uh, so okay, but after it's over, do you feel like, dang, that was awesome? Or I need to go and hear if it was awesome or not because it was so bang, bang. I felt like, okay, even though I had a malfunction and everything, um, I felt like, all right, I killed it. I, I will say a lot of the times I'm my worst critic. I'm like, I could have done this. I could have done this. I could have done this. But when I was looking out there and I saw a lot of my peers, my country music peers that I have looked up to for years, when they stood up and started clapping for me, I was like, you know what? I think I did all right. Yeah, it was awesome. Both were really good. The Grease performance was crazy good and just energetic. And we have the same kind of management team, and I was with a lot of them, and they were just so proud. They were, they were like, look at, oh, my God, it's like actually working. And I was glad to show that side Yeah. because I feel like I haven't been able to. I mean, I do a lot of that kind of stuff like at my, my own shows and stuff like that, but um, I was glad to do it on TV. Had you already won any awards by that point? Yes. Okay. Um, and, and how does that make you feel going into those? Is it, are you like, wow, this is the greatest night ever? Or is it, I got to not, not think about that, but only think about the performances? Um, I was kind of in that, that mindset right there. I'll be honest. I'm like tunnel vision. Of course, I'm excited, but I know that at the end of the night is when, a, when we're going to really be able to celebrate. I just knew I had stuff I still had to do and be prepared for. And, um, and even when it comes to like the speeches and stuff like that, you know, I thought, Okay, if I if I win something, I need to have an idea of like some bullet points of what I'd like to say because I'm given 30 seconds to get up here and maybe change a little boy, little girl's life um, just from watching that. And um, I'm like, I got to say something that really means something. And I just didn't want to blow that. So you won four awards, but the visual media, I don't think was on stage that night, was it? Uh-uh. Okay. A music event, was that on stage? Um, yep. Okay, so you went up for that one. Yep. Sorry, because I'm also working. I don't. I just am remembering I get pieces it. of it. Where are we in? Um, so you went up three times? Yeah. So the third time, what are you supposed to say? You've already said it all. 
Oh my lord! I don't even know what I said. I think I blacked out. Because the second time. <laughs> time you get to remember. Because oh, after you win the first time, you're like, oh, I forgot to say this. Yeah. You get to go up and do it again and actually click on the people that yeah. you didn't get to click the first time. Yeah. But the third time, you're like, well, I like I to know. shut up my buddy who's got a place back in Louisiana. <laughs> who's running yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when you they call your name a third time, you're just like, what do I do now? I was like, well, um, I will say it was album of the year. So it for me, it was like. Um, I'm, I mean, this whole project has been a labor of love. And for me, it felt like a win for my whole team, my crew, my band, the people who played on it, the songwriters, literally everybody. So um, those are the things that I talked about. And those are the things that were like, that were running through my mind in that moment. I don't even know what I said. Mm -hmm. I don't go back and watch my performances and I don't go back and watch my acceptance speeches because I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, live in it's it. It's happened. And, and if you feel good about it, live in it. I don't, I don't do the same thing because I don't want to go and pick myself apart for something I feel good about already. Yeah. Because if I'm not going to grow from it, That's right. why will I go expose myself to it when I already feel great about it and possibly not feel as great? I'm, I've, I'm on the same page. So I don't know if that's healthy of us or not healthy of us, but it, I know. it, it leaves me in a better place. Because, like, I mean, you kind of want to go back and, and rewatch, like, those basketball games and, and see what you could have done different. But also I'm like... He scored 50 points, you know? Yeah. Why, why, right. why are you going to well, Then I'll quote Lainey here because she left the stage with this. Like, she accepts the word, she did her little speech, and then right before she walks off, she goes, this stands for hard work. If you're going to be a dreamer, you better be a doer. And then she just walked off. Mark and drop. I was like, yes. She pushed over the podium. <laughs> She's I was like, that is so good. And then, you know, you I saw people on social just like – yeah. quoting you yeah. and I just thought okay that's the, again like you were speaking to people and being a reminder of like you've put a lot of hard work into this it is true and I've like I don't want folks to think that I mean anything in life that you want is it's not gonna be easy you just gotta get after it but you know I feel like a lot of the the girls who were nominated in the in the female category this year they have busted their tails I'm talking about for years and um you know, a lot of folks' journeys are different. It could, they can come here and it happen overnight. But the truth is, a lot of the women um, who have stories to tell, it didn't. She won Best Female Artist of the Year, Best Album, Visual Media Music Event, four ACM Awards. Lainey Wilson is here. And we're going to play the new single, which is kind of one of the reasons you're here. Watermelon Moonshine is now the new single that's going to be the one that you're proud of and pushing. And to, why this song? Well, I got to play it on Yellowstone. And I feel like um, at my live shows right now, it seems like it's the one that's raising its hand. And I feel like I always try to make my decision based off of that. Um, it seems like folks are knowing all the words to heart like a truck. And, and it's pretty, it's a similar feeling to Watermelon Moonshine. It's like people are just screaming at the top of their lungs. Um, it's a song that takes you back. And for me, I feel like I'm, I'm in a place in my life right now where... I have to make a conscious decision every single day to remember where I come from, remember, you know, to plant my feet on the ground any way that I can. And I'll tell you, Watermelon Moonshine, for me, even just singing it, it reminds me of, of who I am to my core. I did see Dolly Parton confirm a duet she's doing with you. You're doing mm -hmm. it together. I don't know. It's pretty cool, <laughs> right? I mean, it's like the craziest thing. I mean. It is nuts. I, so when, we, when I went in to cut the vocal for it, uh, Mama, he's crazy. Um, have, have, they, have you said that yet anywhere? Yeah, she okay. did. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. Let's double check that. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think she kind of spilled the beans because I didn't know I was even able to talk about it. And then I saw something on the gram that said, Dolly talks about doing a song with Lainey. And I was like, cool, let's talk about it. So who told you that? And did you think it was a joke at first or somebody pulling your leg or what? Mandolin. Uh, my manager called me and said, we've got this opportunity to be a part of the Judd tribute record. And I immediately was like, well, duh. I mean, they're, they're a soundtrack to my childhood. Even if it's just you, you're thinking. Yes, yeah. so I'm like, I, of course, period. Um, and then she came back and said, they're thinking about, you know, the song. And I said, okay, done. And she said, well, they're thinking about getting Dolly on it, too. I about passed out. Was it a she may do it? Um, it was, was literally it? like one day they were like, they're going to ask her to be a part of it. And then the next day they were like, it's confirmed. Dang, for that whole day when it wasn't confirmed, I'd be like, there's no way she's doing it. Oh, there's yes. There's no way. There's no way. I know. Dang. I know. Because at that point, we had not even met. Um, but they said she seemed overjoyed to do it. And I had went in and cut my vocal. And then a the week later, she um, ended up kind of going back and, and cutting some harmonies and doing her verse, too. So Didn't Dolly give you the Female Artist of the Year Award? Yeah. Am I remembering that right? Yep. Come on. I mean, who else in the whole history of the world would it be better to get that award from except for Dolly Parton? I mean, that's it. I can't believe that's how I met her. I mean, I was sitting there 
just watching her, and she was about to present it. And I just felt like, oh, my gosh, she's literally five, ten feet away from me. And, I mean, this is this is my hero, period, hands down. This is my hero. And um, it was weird. As soon as I hugged her neck, I felt like I just had known her my whole life. And I think she just kind of makes people feel that way in general. But she's taught me so much. And I've never even, you know, until then had not even met her. So we were walking off stage, and she grabbed my hand, and she's like, I love our song that we did together. Oh, that's awesome. I'm like, I'm going to just go home now. Did you talk back or did you just? I don't even know what yeah. I said. <laughs> she I said, I like, her, she gave her speech again, work hard or shut up or whatever she said before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're going to be a dreamer, you better be a doer. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Dolly. I, I definitely didn't tell Dolly that. Dreamer do, Dolly. <laughs> Dolly. So you went to the award show with your new man. Yeah. And since you did that, I felt like I could actually ask you about it. Yeah. So what's up? He'd been around for a while. I just decided to. Um, I mean, I know make that, but for I, two and a half I years. wouldn't say anything about it because if you're not saying anything about it publicly, I'm never going to say anything about it. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Oh, but yeah. now that you're public, I feel like I'd be like, "What's up?" No, he's a good dude. He's he knows what it's like chasing a dream because he's done that for himself. He was in the NFL. He tried out literally for the Steelers and made it and had had a really great run with them. Went out to the LA Rams and did that now. But I'll tell you, he is good as gold supports me would never come in between anything that i'm trying to do he's like go get it girl and i made him wait for a while i mean i made him it's been a little over two years now what's he look like with no shirt because i feel like it's pretty, pretty ripped <laughs> oh hey yeah i think so too yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah so, i'll send you a picture thank, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so i was watching it on tv you call him duck by the way you yeah. do call him duck, yeah. duck. the him they would you you were winning and then they would the camera would go to him yeah. and he you could see he was genuinely so proud of you and it's like cool. high-fiving the people around and like he, he just it was really special like i i didn't know about him yeah. but in that moment i didn't know how old it was how new and i'm like dang if they're new he is like no he is they're very, new that's too much yeah. 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 he's yeah. very invested <laughs> well, what's funny is literally a couple weeks before the show we had played out in pittsburgh and me and my band we all wore duck hodges jerseys and so that kind of started started a few rumors but um, it's so great. I mean, he's buddies with all my buddies. He'll FaceTime me, and he'll be with Hardy, or he'll be with Cole Swindell, and all of I'm like, can you please stop taking my friends? Exactly. <laughs> so I know we did trivia last time. It was Not know good. your will since you hated it. You said no more trivia ever. So mm -hmm. we're going to do how well do you know Duck Hodges? It's trivia about your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I probably don't. <laughs> okay. How did he earn the nickname Duck? Um. Well, let's see. First of all, if, if you read something online, it probably ain't right. In college, Why are you pointing at me like you're going to beat me up, Lainey? Because, like, because, aggressively because pointing he knows at me. the Wilson trivia. I'm ready go for ahead, this. Go ahead. Go um, ahead. His college football coach was like, you're one of the best quarterbacks I've ever worked with. And uh, you remind me a lot of one of my favorite quarterbacks I got to work with years ago. And we called him Duck. And so him and the team just kind of started calling him Duck. Turns out. He was like, also a duck hunter. He's also a duck hunter. That's correct. Thank you. That's wow. correct. I can't say it's not right. She pointed at me and then was very aggressive <laughs> with that finger. Up. Next up. He won the – what state duck calling championship did he win? Arkansas? Alabama. Oh, see, now that would trip me up Yeesh. because he's got a duck cabin in Arkansas, and he spent a lot of his duck hunting growing up there. Which NCAA FCS career record does he hold from his time at Sanford College? I don't know what the technical terms are, but for the most – Passing yards. That's exactly the technical term. Wow. Most passing yards with 14,584. Oh, boy. <laughs> previously held by Steve McNair. Yeah. That, that's that's crazy. amazing. That is amazing. Uh, let's do one more. Who did he make his NFL debut against? The, um, is it Cincinnati? You're in the right division because obviously Pittsburgh, but it's not Cincinnati. The Ravens. The Ravens. The Ravens. I wasn't around during that time. Yeah, Sorry, baby. I got one. two out of four. <laughs> and two out of four is exactly what we needed to declare you still together. There it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. you won and you get to stay in the, stay together. Uh, <laughs> Lainey, congratulations. Thank yeah, you, buddy. It's an amazing time. Hope you're just soaking it in. It's hard to soak it in, but also push really hard at the same time. So you got to find that balance of yep. both. And I hope you're doing that. And I'm doing it. You look happy. It's awesome. I am. I'm proud of you. Super cool. Thank you. There she is, Lainey Wilson, our friend and yours. And her new single is Watermelon Moonshine. And I'm going to go back and watch you drop your mic pack on Greece. Do it. And just laugh and be like, oh, I was really rooting for her Do to it. fail. Just like Do she it. thinks Do everybody it. is. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Lainey Wilson, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>